The last piece of the aggregate domain aggregate supply model is going to be the short run aggregate supply curve. In the short run, prices will have an impact on real GDP. Changes in prices in the short run will have an impact on real GDP. The reason being is input prices and output prices, which we talked about before, may not change at the exact same pace. A great example is thinking of how easy it could be for me to change the price of something that I'm selling by going to the store, changing the label, maybe changing it online. But if I need to negotiate new wages with my employees, that could take some time. Or perhaps I'm in a contract to pay the exact same amount of rent for the next three years. Either way, sometimes the prices don't change, so in the short run, it could be beneficial for me to raise prices or raise output when things are changing. So what that means is we're going to have an upward sloping short run aggregate supply curve. Short run aggregate supply is going to be upward sloping. When prices rise, it's going to be beneficial for me to increase my output. When prices fall, it's going to be beneficial for me to decrease my output. So there is that positive relationship in the short run between the price level and output. As always, we can see shifts because perhaps the prices are staying the exact same, but in the short run, I'm willing to produce more or produce less. A rightward shift is going to be an increase, as always. A leftward shift is going to be a decrease. Go ahead back to your readings and look at the things that shift short run aggregate supply. It's going to be anything that shifts long run aggregate supply. Also changes to expectations and changes to input prices. Things that if the price level initially were to stay the same, would we see increases or decreases in short run aggregate supply.